If you're in the business of building the tallest buildings in the world, the longest bridges in the world, the most advanced sports stadiums on earth, there is a very good chance your business will bring you here. Guelph, Ontario, inside this nondescript building, the skylines of the world are created, tested, and modified. Plus, they've got one heck of a wind tunnel. Prepare to be blown away. This is downtown Toronto, and this is Mike Saligo. Hello, Mike. How are How you? you? Rick? Good. CEO of RWDI. You create models of cities and buildings, and you test them. You beat the hell out of them. We do. We beat the hell out of them because the environment's going to do that, and we just look at that ahead of time to make sure we understand it, and then we can make modifications so it doesn't happen in the real world. Do you just observe how the building reacts in the wind, or do you have sensors in there? No, there's about 1,500 sensors in that building. You can see there's really tiny spots on there. They're drilled in. They're about the size of a pen tip, and they all have... Uh, hoses that they're attached to. It goes underneath this model and they run to the data acquisition system. We can test it for wind, snow, we can test it for glare, we can test it for energy modeling, daylighting, reflectivity, wow. building motion, comfort for the people who will be occupying the building. What's this over here? Well, this is uh, Mosaic Stadium. It's the new stadium in Saskatchewan. This is it in Saskatchewan. Stadium. In this case, we're actually looking for the wind flows inside the stadium. You're actually not just testing the effect of the wind on the building or the structure, but the effect that wind will have in this particular design on the play. That's right. We can test wind impacts on the play of the game. And this is senior project engineer Albert Brooks. Hello, Albert Brooks. Hey, Rick, how are you? Excellent. This is the, going to be the next world's tallest building. That's right. And so when you guys say you're working with people building the tallest buildings, we are. You're not making it up. No, no, we certainly aren't. The CN Tower would be right about there. No way. Yep. That's the CN Tower. Yep, that's right. What's that city? Uh, that would be New York. Oh, and my guess is there's a hole in the middle. Yep. And there's a building that you're working on. That's right. That you have removed because we're here. Yeah, that's right. Because it's it's yep. a secret. They don't want it out. Yep. What do we have here? It's the Texas Rangers Stadium. You're saying they weren't getting enough home runs in this stadium. Now I can't say, but we did work on it. You worked on it. You put up these things. And there's probably like advertising on it, and people think, oh, they put up new signs. That's Suddenly, right. that's right. This is technical director Brian Suley. Hello, Brian. How are you? Hi, Rick. How are you? I'm very excited to be here. Now, what's this talk about my head? Well, Rick, we wanted to subject your head to some tests. Yes. But we thought it might be painful, some of the things that we were going to do to it. I'm all about the pain, if it's for science. Well, we thought it might actually involve possibly removing your head. OK. That's where I draw the line. So you took pictures of my head. Yes. You put the pictures in a computer, I'm guessing. That's right. A laser takes that picture of your head, yeah. shines it into a vat of very expensive resin, yeah. and turns that resin into hard plastic. Oh, look. It's on a stake. What could we do with this head? Well, we can actually drill some holes into the head and attach some sensors. Yes, please. And we can test how aerodynamic the head is. Right down the middle. There you go. And after this, you'll never snore again. We need some wind, right? Yep. That's, that's why we're here. What I'm very curious about is at what wind speed will my hair start to move? because I've been in some pretty serious, look, already, look at you, see? Look at you, if you look in the camera, imagine you're doing a news report. Mm -hmm. All people are thinking is, holy Moses, look how windy it is, and Brian's here. Whereas me, look, cool as a cucumber, nothing's moving. Well, we can turn it up a bit if you'd like. Lyndon McIntyre said to me once, if he had my hair, he would have anchored 60 minutes. Would you like more wind? Yes, yes. Now we're getting somewhere. But is my hair moving, really? Not really. So this smoke helps illustrate how aerodynamic my head is. So if you look, you can actually see a rear circulation cavity back here. There's a rear circulation cavity in the back of my head. So it means there's actually a low pressure region right behind your head. I think that's enough with the head. Okay. It's time to get real. You're from Newfoundland? Yes, I am. From Logie Bay? Yes, I am. We call this experiment having a picnic in Logie Bay. It's rare that you can have a picnic so close to the North Atlantic. We call 
this experiment, two Winnipeg gentlemen reading the newspaper at the corner of Portage and Maine. We call this experiment, well, just because.